Hello everyone, welcome to day 15th of October Lead Code Challenge. And first of all, congratulations for completing the first 15 days of the October monthly challenge. And I hope that you will be able to complete the next 15 days as well along with me. Now let's look at today's question. Today's question is best time to buy and sell stocks 3. In this question, we are given an integer array that represents the prices of stocks on the ith day we need to tell the maximum profit that can be achieved given the constraint that at max you can complete two transactions and we need to return the maximum profit without much ado let's look at the presentation that i have created for this and let's get started with the solution best time to buy and sell stocks three lead code 123 it's a hard level question on lead code, but somewhere I feel I would land this question in a medium level category. There's a slight trick to it. If you are able to think of that trick, you'll be able to come up with the solution by yourself. The question itself says you have to do at max two transactions, which gives you enough hint in what direction you need to think of. Without much ado, let's look at the algorithm. Oh, what happened? Error 409 conflict already solved visit august 2020 challenge what august 2020 was a month when i started doing youtube and started solving the monthly lead code challenges this is surprising and let's look at august lead code 2020 challenge to see as did i actually code it up then lead code august 2020 solution playlist let's search for lead code 123 it does exist and let's confirm whether it's the same question or not It's the same question, best time to buy and sell stocks 3. Uh, for those who have been associated with me since the beginning, uh, this question came in August 2020 lead code challenge and I have already gone through this video. Uh, it's a slightly raw video because during that time I started making lead code solution videos and that was my first month. So do watch it with patience but I assure you uh, it has enough clarity to get give you a good hold of the underlying concept. I am attaching the link of the video in the description below. So please re get redirected uh, to that video and I hope that you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.